Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So, this one is going to be a Minecraft one and we are doing a Breaking Minecraft series. So, we'll actually name the world that. Uh, it's going to be an offline game and the seed I actually asked a friend if they'd be able to give me a random seed and they said 13 so we're going to leave it as 13 and everything else we're going to leave normal and all of that is the same so there we go and we're going to go ahead and start this world So, let's see what kind of world we actually get. Huh. And as you can see, it is taking a little bit to... Ah, never mind. I was going to say it is taking a little bit to load into the world, but... We're here. So, now that this is actually loaded up, I'm going to give it one moment just to load all of the other surrounding chunks and then we'll uh, go ahead and start moving around. Okay, so I think I can actually see a pillager tower just in front of us, which is not going to be very good. That's going to possibly cause a little bit of a problem. Yep, so there is a pillager tower there, but what we can do is just start by gathering a few bits of food. And we don't really like berry bushes anyways, or at least I don't, because you can actually take some damage off them. Okay, so normally in this I use quite a lot of glitches and I'm actually going to be showing you how I use them and how exactly it actually does break Minecraft. So we're going to collect these few little bits and that's part of a floating ship. Huh. Well, we'll grab some berries, at least that way we've got some food. And hope that no pillagers actually come over here while we're collecting the food, because we are nowhere near equipped to be dealing with them yet. And... Let's actually go over and get whatever is in the ship, if there's any chests. Which is not always a big if, but it is always a possibility that you don't actually have any chests in a shipwreck. But there are a few animals around as well, so that'll be good. We'll be able to use a few of them very soon. Oops, walk too far into it. There we go, we'll get some more wood very quickly. And well, normally anyone that has actually played Minecraft with me before will. Uh, no, but I don't normally collect more than two logs. And it's mainly because I can actually have an unlimited building resource with two logs. But, that's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing it slightly different. And it just makes it a lot quicker as well with the process. 
So we'll just grab our material. About 21 would be good. And we'll leave it at 18. Oh, and there is normal arc here. We'll get some of that in a few minutes. But we're just going to use that and just going to place that down. We'll place that there and then we'll chuck everything up. Now, the first glitch I'm going to be using is in my controls, I actually have a pick block button. So, whenever you press that, it actually pre it actually brings whatever is in front of you into your hotbar if you actually have it on you. Now, by doing that, you can actually switch across hotbars at the same time to kind of double it. But, once you actually come out of crafting, the ghost block disappears. But, what I'm actually going to be doing is, since we've got ghost blocks, I'm going to chuck all of these ones out. And I'm just going to go down and craft the other ones into actual wood. And now we've got a bit of building resources. So now that we've actually got that, we're going to go ahead and get a quick pickaxe and a few other items that we can actually use. We're going to pick this back up. And this. And now we're going to use these to actually build over. So, let's see if there is any loot in here. And if there is, then what will we have? Whoops. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like there is any loot on this shipwreck. So it looks like it's actually spawned without any chests at all. Yep. Oh well. Would have been nice for a bit of extra loot just for starting off, but... Don't need to worry too much about it. Instead what we'll do is we'll go and start getting some coal. And I did see a piece of iron a second ago, so that will come in quite useful in a few minutes when we go to collect that. But what we can do as well is get a few pieces of cobblestone and just get a cobblestone axe. Well, a stone axe for a few minutes. Okay, we'll chuck all of that up there for just a second, we'll bring that out, and now we'll make ourselves a stone axe, pickaxe, and that just means that we can actually mine these things a little bit quicker, which is nice. There we go. So now we've got 16. That'll be quite nice. We'll pick our crafting table back up and we will jump down here. Hey, it's a dolphin. Okay, so yeah, there is a bit of iron here. So we'll quickly grab air. And then we will mine these very quickly. Well, I say very quickly. Can only mine it as quickly as it'll let us. There we go. And let's get back out of here now before we do start drowning. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Nope. So we do have a little bit of iron. 
which, if anyone knows me, is more than enough for, well, everything in the game. So I guess what we can do is head back over here for just a moment. And do I have enough cobblestone? Yes, I do. So, what I'm actually going to do now is just show you how quickly and easily I can actually break this game. And I did not realise I was actually near two pillager towers, not just one. So I need to be really careful at this moment in time, just for a few minutes at least. So we'll get that, we'll uh, put that up there and we'll just chuck two logs up there. And while that's doing that, we will get a chest. We'll place that down and we can chuck that up there. Now, the next glitch I'm going to be kind of doing will be quite interesting. So normally what you can do when you actually have a few resources is another duplication method with a chest. So I'm actually going to be doing that now. So normally what you do is you press start, go down to disable auto save, and then you save and re-enable auto save. You put the items you want to duplicate into a chest. And then all you do is stand on top of the chest, break it, and at the moment it breaks, you hit the start button. Didn't work that time. A bit too quick again. Again, just slightly too quick. There we go. So the chest is actually broke. Now, I know the game actually cuts out here when I go to do the next step. But I'll explain what you do. So, on console edition, you then press your home screen button and quit application. From there you load the application back up and you are then able to load your world back up and you'll notice that it has actually duplicated the items that you put in there. Now I'm going to do that process now and I will see you again on the loading screen in just a second. Hey guys, so I've just done that, I've loaded the game back up and we're just going to go back into the world now and as you'll see we've still got everything that we wanted to duplicate in our hand But when we actually go into the chest, we actually have extra. So that's how that actually works. And I'm going to do a very quick cutaway again just to get a few extra bits of iron and make sure I have enough to be able to craft some armor. So when I've done that, I will come straight back. Okay, so we're back and just loading back into the world again. I only did this a couple of times. And not doing too bad so far. So, I'm actually going to show you a different glitch now. Uh, one that actually uses blocks again. Because I've got more than enough coal, I don't need to worry too much about that now. So, I can actually go ahead and just start making more and more iron. So, we're just going to get through this very quickly. And just make it so we actually have more than enough iron very quickly. 
and then we're going to kind of head over and read the two towers that are actually in front of us. So, this is how we break Minecraft very quickly. As you can now see, we've got more than enough iron, but I want a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Here we go, we'll stop at two stacks of 64 iron blocks. So we're just about to get to that. One more time and then we have that. And then... Here we go. So now we're at the two block stage. We'll just turn them into ingots and then blocks again very quickly. Because as you saw before, the ghost blocks do disappear if we don't... Oh, that were a squid. That actually made me jump. Yeah, the ghost blocks do actually disappear if we don't actually craft them into ingots. So we'll do that very quickly. Make sure we've got more than enough iron. And then we will start making some tools and stuff like that. And that is a skeleton just in the background. So... Here we go, we'll craft them. We'll also get our armor. And we will now equip all of our armor and we've got them as well. And what we can do is, since we no longer need these, we can actually put them in a chest and leave them. And I believe we have collected our stuff just in time actually because now we're starting to actually see quite a lot of mobs. But what we will do, we'll also pick up all of our stuff here. Don't need that chest anymore, because we can actually go and craft another one at some point. And I did not mean to plant those berries, but... We can pick them back up very quickly. Eat a little bit more so we've got full health and everything. And now we will head over to this tower. Oh god. That was a creeper that just blew up right behind us. until day to try and go after the towers. That's another creeper over there. Okay, there are some sheep here. Well, there's a sheep here. So we'll get that. We've got one piece of wood now. Well, actually what we could have done was get our crafting table very quickly. We do that and we go and get some shears. 
just in case we actually see any more sheep we can actually shear them and not have to worry too much there we go don't want to go in there well we're gonna get a bed as soon as we can I apologize I'm also trying to focus as well so I may go quiet quite a bit because trying to focus on where all the mobs are and make sure I don't die is kind of difficult but tell you what we'll run over this way a little bit we'll uh, go back to those towers in just a second what we will do is always eat just a little bit so we don't actually run out of hunger we can cheer that sheep we've now got two pieces of wool are there any more sheep around here it does not look like it Maybe we will see one or two somewhere. Huh. Yes, there is another sheep there, but there is a skeleton here. We will take care of this guy quickly. There we go. Oh, and that's a zombie somewhere. But now we have more than enough wool for a uh, bed. But unfortunately, since it's now turned to day, we're not going to be able to make a bed and sleep. But it's not all bad. Instead what we can do is eat a little bit, get our health back up and go ahead and start attacking the uh, pillager tower. So I'm just going to eat very quickly, build my health up and then we'll go after the tower. And what we can do as well is get a little bit of clay because this is always nice for building. There we go. So we can put that up there. Um, okay, we don't need stripped logs. So we can actually get rid of them. What else do we not need at this moment? We don't need any saplings. Um, we will keep hold of the wood, but we'll actually use a little bit of that. There we go. And I guess what we can do as well very quickly is craft the other bit of iron into blocks so we have an extra free space as well and we can actually move all of them up into there and I guess we will actually 
start with cooking some of the food in just a moment. Now we don't exactly need that anymore and we're not short on cobblestone so we can be fine for that. But what we will do is just get rid of balls. And we will head over to the tower and see what loot we can actually get. And I will put some of the food in my hotbar just so we can actually eat and restore health at the same time. Okay, so to use a shield as well properly you have to crouch and it does actually guard. So we'll sit here a second, we'll eat. And then we will go up. Damn it. He kept moving around quite a bit. And of course, there's a creeper that decided he wanted to be in here. Okay, so we'll regenerate the last bit of our health again very quickly. Oh, and there are actually none of them up here, which is a good thing, but there is another chest over there, so we'll go and get that in a moment. But we do have potatoes and carrots in here, along with some tripwire hooks and a bit of wood. Now, the wood is not very needed anymore. Same with the seeds, but the carrots and potatoes, we can use them. The string we will keep, however, we don't really need all these raw foods, as we do already have a food source on us. So, now what we'll do is we'll head back down and tack on the other tower. And that one just disappeared somewhere. There he is. Ooh, nice. And he actually dropped us a crossbow, so that'll come in useful. That's two crossbows now, so even better. Go around here very quickly, jump in here. So with the shield as well, you can actually deflect the arrows. And we do actually bounce back into the mobs or pillagers. Oh, 
Okay, so there's no more up here. But we will take the potatoes. We'll take the wheat as well, which will come in useful. But we don't really need anything else from these guys now. So I guess we can head off in a different direction and kind of see what else we can find. So now I guess we run this way. And we'll just keep heading over this way for a moment and see what we can actually find. We'll eat some food. And let's go. So, ooh, there is a jungle biome over there. So that'll be quite interesting to have a look through soon. Ooh, and we've got some bamboo. So we'll chop that down, we'll actually have that bamboo. Because bamboo we can actually use for other type of building stuff soon. So that's quite nice to actually have. And I guess we'll keep going over this way for now. And see if we can actually find a village somewhere over this way. If not, then we'll start making our own house very soon. And possibly end the episode in the next 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, and that's a drowned. Speaking of villages, actually, we've found one. And it looks like we've found one just in time, too, because it's starting to get night time. And there are quite a lot of pumpkins here. here a villager as well. Ooh, there are villagers here. So that means that we'll actually open ourselves up to quite a bit of trading in a few. But what we will do is head up here. We do not need the oak sapling. But what we will do is just make room for our bed. And we will put our crafting table down. There we go. We'll make a quick bed. And we can actually sleep. Okay. Well, guys. I do hope that you have actually enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. As it lets me know that you guys are actually enjoying my content. And we will actually get into breaking this a little bit more in the next episode. Showing you how quickly we can actually... Go up against a wither, ender dragon, and everything like that. 
maybe a couple of episodes long, but should be fun. But, well, without further ado, as I have already said, I do hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. And, well, thank you. And goodbye.